it's me. Okay, so um, my name's Denise. It's nice to see you. I'm. There are other people. My second, Donna. You, if you don't know who Donna is, you will get to know Donna shortly. <laughs> but basically, I won't even get into the story about Donna. But she's a very near and dear person in my life. And you may actually hear some noise in the background, a little beeping. Dawn may come in. That's happened before. Just include that all in the conversation. Okay. So yesterday I did, j just to kind of give you the format of what I'm doing, every Saturday at 10 a.m., I'm coming on Facebook to talk about something nutrition, health related. That conversation is about 10 to 15 minutes long, okay? Sundays I come on and I'm just cooking, okay? Now, so that's the format, okay? So if you want healthy, easy dishes, tune in Sundays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, okay? now. Yesterday, I did a whole breakdown of like, if because we're in coronavirus, I mean, I know people in my life that have just gotten laid off and it can be like really like a time for some people where they have to try to make like the money stretch as, as long as they can. So for me in April, I want to really do a focus of how do you eat as healthfully as possible when you really are on a budget okay or you're like really trying to keep the money in the pocket so the meals that I'm gonna show you today okay there's one set that's gonna be vegetarian and the second that is carnivore or for the meat eater I am personally a meat eater I'm not a vegetarian okay so for my friends who are vegetarians this is for you. You know who you are, who email me or leave me comments about what if I'm vegetarian? Oh, my daughter-in-law's on. Hey, Priscilla. So these meals that I'm going to show you per meal are literally like $2.76 per meal. Okay. Total, like all of the ingredients that I purchased today, they were like 10 bucks and change. And there's four servings for everything that I'm gonna cook today. Okay, so let's get started. You know, I'm trying to be more uh, brief, guys, because God help me, I can be on forever. Okay, so I'm really gonna, 15 minutes with Venice Max, that's what you're gonna see. <laughs> I'm working on it, all right? So I'm gonna lower my camera and I'm gonna explain what I did, okay? Uh, I forgot something. So as I'm prepping, Remember, I'm a huge advocate of eating balanced meals. I'm not gonna be your girl who says, don't eat any carbs. I'm not that girl. Uh, we need all macronutrients. What is a macronutrient? A macronutrient is basically nutrition that our body needs. So specifically, our body needs carbohydrates, our body needs protein, and our body needs fats, essential, good, healthy fats. So all of the meals that I teach are all balanced. If you learn how to like have all of your meals balanced, I would be so happy. <laughs> I'll feel like I got my job done. I feel like that's kind of like my life's mission is to like teach people how to eat healthy, balanced meals. So let's get started. I'm going to lower my camera and then I'm going to put these meals together. The food actually has already been cooked, so we're saving some time. All right, so here we go. I'm lowering my camera. God help me, I hope my camera doesn't go all janky because I'm on a tripod. I don't know, sometimes I get nervous about it. Okay, so here's what we have. Yesterday on the Facebook Live, I talked about how every meal we need carbohydrates. So this, these are mixed vegetables. I got these frozen i have broccoli florets and i have mixed vegetables i bought a pound of broccoli florets for 98 cents they were not reduced that was the price at the grocery store and i i bought two pounds of mixed vegetables for a dollar 78 okay so these are complex carbs 
I also, for color, because I'm all about color, I'm gonna do some freshly sliced Roma tomato. These are carbohydrates. These are complex carbs. I'm also gonna do quinoa. Quinoa is a great substitute for rice, okay? Quinoa technically is a seed. It's low glycemic. It doesn't turn into sugar as fast as like rice does, which is really good, especially if you're diabetic. Also, it has fiber and it has protein in it. So this is good for all of us, but especially for vegetarians that want like protein and you know, they're not into meat. So this is a good, um, really excellent food. Okay, so we've got our complex carbs right here. Then this is just ground turkey that I seasoned. So ground turkey. Now for the vegetarians, this is a portobello mushroom. I just, it is seasoned really nicely. I can't wait to eat it. Well, actually this is, this is gonna be for my husband, these meals. Um, so uh, ground, this is basically a great vegetarian protein source, but because the portobello mushroom has protein in it. Okay, so these are our ingredients. Okay, now I'm gonna prepare the first meal. Oh, and then my essential fat. Someone's like, where's her essential fat? Okay. You guys, I've said avocado is Venice Robbins' go-to essential fat. It's easy, I think it's delicious, and I eat a lot of avocado, so I'm gonna do a little sliver, okay? If you do not like avocado, you can have nuts and seeds, other sources. I personally recommend doing a essential fat supplement you could do like barleens, which is a liquid. You could do one tablespoon, or you can also do a um, Malise. They have a really great flax uh, essential fats supplement. That's a good price point and it gets the job done. If you're interested in that, let me know. I'm not trying to sell you in a direct sales company. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna first build, I think what I'm gonna do, well, I'm gonna do the turkey. So just for measurements, this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna do like a little bowl, okay? Now I am like one of those girls that I love to just mix everything together. You may be like, oh my God, I hate doing that. I know someone who does not like to do that. His name is Alex and he's my grandson. Hold on. If you actually mix Alex's food together, he will throw a fit. Okay, so I'm gonna do kind of like a little mix here. Okay. And I'm gonna put a little bit of Roma. What's missing? That's right, the essential fat. Let's get this going. I'll do a little more. Hold on. Okay. Meal number one. This meal costs two dollars and change to make. It's got all of the nutrition your body needs. It's actually delicious and beautiful. So that's kind of, I don't know, it's like a goulash. But let's say you're like, oh my God, I would never mix all my food together. Okay, no problem, I got you. Here we go. Not to worry, I've got you, okay? We can go traditional, cause hey, I'm not judging. Alex, my grandson, he absolutely cannot stand his food mixed together. I feel you, Alex. I'm not going to judge. Uh, let me do this on this one. I typically will do in the measurement like one cup. Although on the quinoa, guys, it's a little much, okay? Really, you should do like half a cup, but oh well. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do for the turkey, because to me, this looks a little on the bland side. I'm like, ooh, it's a little too divided. Uh, so what I would do, and what are we missing? That's right, we're missing fats. Mm. 
Meal number two, protein. We've got lots of carbohydrates. You see how like most of the plate is carbohydrates? That's like when you look at your plate, you wanna have protein and you wanna have carbs, but most of your carbs should really be like on the plate. Now, really, this is kind of a lot of quinoa, but I would really normally do a half a cup, okay? And then see how it's just a little bit of fats? Yes, just a little bit, okay? So that's the second option. So we have number one, number two. Now, another thing I would do, because I love variations, is on the turkey, what you could do is just do a turkey patty. You could take half of your turkey and do like two, because I just made one, I just purchased one pound. That's it, one pound of turkey. Uh, you could do half of the turkey as a little patties and then the rest is ground. So for here, I have the ground turkey and then I'd have two patties. Again, how much did these meals cost? $2 and change. Okay, I literally bought all these ingredients for like $10, $10 and something. Now, what about my vegetarian friends? They're like, hey, what about me? Okay, well for my vegetarian friends, what I would do is simply substitute. I'm gonna do a bowl with the portobello. Okay. I'm getting my veggies everywhere. Now, I still need to like find all of my uh, my kitchen stuff. <laughs> so I was like, I thought I had a bigger plate, but I don't know where it is. Okay, and then I would top with the avocado okay so this is a great like vegetarian and then i would mix it in so i substituted the turkey for portobello same ingredients and the price was pretty much the same okay the portobello was a it was like 28 cents more because the portobello actually was a little bit more expensive but I bought a two portobello for $3.27, okay? So these are our meals. Now, mind you, this I literally purchased for $10 and change enough for four meals. And that's what I really want you to get. Look, I really, I'm, I'm very, um, I just have a real concern right now for people, like we're going through the corona and all that stuff, guys, and you know it's a reality and one of the things that I think we just need to be like really mindful of is the money <laughs> like how much money am I spending okay now I'm gonna end with this you know fresh is always best okay and sometimes fresh can be more expensive so if you go to the grocery store and you're like, man, the produce is a little pricey for me. The food that I prepared today was from frozen vegetables, okay? So I, I spoke yesterday about how fresh is best, second best would be frozen, and then last would be canned. Why? Because canned vegetables through the canning process, they don't keep as much good vitamins and minerals inside of them. And a lot of times they're going to have like a lot of added sodium. So you just really want to limit, if you can, the amount of food that comes from can. Okay. Fresh is best. Frozen is like number two. All right. So that's my session for today. Every Saturday in the month of April, I'm going to be showing you, like my goal is to get you meals that literally cost $2, less than $3 per meal, like for real, okay? And I wanna show you like how I put them together so that you can keep as much money in your pocket as possible. <laughs> Okay, so give me a comment if you have any questions and I will be sure to have vegetarian options, okay? Let me know if you have any questions. 
Uh, if you'd like the recipes, let me know because I have them. I will be more than happy to email them to you. Okay, I'll even email you my uh, receipt breakdown because I really made sure to do that before I got on live to really be accurate about how much I spent overall. And I was really interested, like how much is the cost for the meal? So I'll talk to you later. Bye.